like it. I wrote that. Because I write. I look, I see, I suck it in. <laughs> Morning, look at me like that. Your eyebrows look like two seagulls about to <laughs> on the beach. What, 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 what? Well, I'm hot. I'm from LA. Everybody's hot, 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 hot. <laughs> That's an angry Doberman giving you a blowjob. <laughs> Of course, if you've never been blown by an angry Doberman, you might not get the joke, nor have you lived. <laughs> All right, I, don't know what I have no idea. I need a bishy shower and a Korean body wrap and a latte. I'd love a latte. Why can't I just be one of those guys who just walks around and like, can I have a latte? I'd love one. Just, no, no, I don't have any thoughts. Just a latte. I just want a latte. Be because the froth makes life mellow. It's a mellowing cup with not a lot of coffee in it. Just something light and creamy like my life never was! <laughs> All right, anyway. This place looks like an expensive vagina. <laughs> so I'm, I'm an angry clitoris. Come here, come here, try to find me, try to find me. You can't, try to move me, come on! Look at this, I feel like a gay marine. <laughs> Is it Sarge or Sargy? That'd be funny if I, like, I don't understand when they said don't ask and don't tell and I don't even know why I should be doing this joke, but I'm not going to question myself. Is my father standing behind me with a shovel? I'm okay, all right. Uh, I come from a very hard, hard, lower class dermatology. So, uh, I miss cocaine. I mean the Lion King. Anyway, don't, don't, don't judge me. So, uh, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I don't understand that whole gay marine, like, when they say don't ask, don't tell, he'd be like, he said, don't ask, don't tell, but they forgot to say the one thing. Like, don't act gay! <laughs> if I was gay, I would flamboyant it. I'd flame it up. I would disturb every one of those <laughs> Marines. I'd be like, is it Sarge or Sarge? I know it's, is it, is it bayonets or mayonnaise? Because I know it isn't, there is, is it, I know with jalapeno mayonnaise, there isn't a T. But it is hard to order when you're in a different country, which is where we are. Now, do a joke that you like doing. All right. Look, it's Paris Hilton. All right. Hey, I got a teeth. That wasn't funny. My thumb thinks so. L listen, I, uh, I, uh, I can't focus. I'm on like a, on 11 Red Bull, eight coffees, three Depakote, two Wellbutrin, a Zoloft, an Outer X, and one bad childhood memory, and a nice piece of salmon. I had a lovely piece of salmon. <laughs> Today that would drive to Palestine. All right, so, uh, I'll do the joke. I, you know, uh, <laughs> I went to Starbucks because I wanted to smack someone. I went to Starbucks. You know that a man can't walk into Starbucks without turning into Sarah Jessica Parker. Like, I mean, you just say, yeah, I'll have a uh, cappuccino. Uh, yeah, that'd be fine. <laughs> it's a fag place. It's Fag Depot. I don't know, that's Target. But, but, uh, and those are the straight guys. You know what? Uh, I gotta focus. You guys were waiting. All right, no, you weren't. So you, you have friends. All right, you're not alone. Don't blame me for your life. All right, so, but I went to Starbucks. I hate this <laughs> pretty boy LA shirt I'm wearing. Oh, oh, it's like, hi, I'm handsome, dude. Now will you go out with me? <laughs> this is what you wear. You look like the sleaze ball you are. Let me ask you something. You're a normal guy. What's with me and crack whores? <laughs> I don't understand. It's like one argument with my now ex-girlfriend at Target and I end up throwing my body into the into the fires of burnt corpse melting flesh monster tree hanging simian rodent hooker monkeys. <laughs> Why did I t tell you that? I f the hooker. I don't feel good about it. How come they never look like their picture? All right, so here, here's the thing. No, the, the p picture said, the p picture said, Italian, Irish, blue-eyed princess with a touch of the Caribbean. It was a fat black hooker <laughs> with her breasts pummeled into her bustier and when she unzipped, they hung like abused children on a monkey bars at a playground. <laughs> uh, I can't function. <laughs> I hope I'm making friends tonight. <laughs> Do I look like I woke up to make a friend? So, um, what's with ducks? <laughs> I'm trying to do normal <laughs> You know, I'm trying to go to places to calm down, you know, but I'm too angry. I'm too selfish. I'm, I'm feeding ducks. I'm trying to be normal. I'm not thinking about the Holocaust, the Jews, and the bread. 
I'm, I'm throwing it to him like a normal guy. I'm like, <laughs> they look in my eyes and waddle away sprightly with a fake smile. But, but, uh, but I get, I turn into a, a I turn into a, a an, like the eight year old. I start going like, come on, come on, you see me, come on, don't hit me. And then eight minutes later, I turn into the six year old selfish brat who's like, ah. Floating on your futile little floaty asses. You don't support the troops. <laughs> yeah, you get that? You look like a Ken doll. If you look like a Ken doll, you can't do what I do, but you'll be fine. I like, I like a crazy life, man. You look like you had a crazy... You have a little bit of a dark look in your eye. Like maybe you had that one night of one drug too many where you end up carrying a dead body on your back going, oh, I definitely got to quit cocaine in 10 years, but not now. You ever suck... Oh, and you will. You're beautiful, sir. And, and on a downward spiral. So um, let's do the funny thing. All right. What's with this mic all alone? This is where I belong. L listen, I can't stand people feeling alone. Uh, all right. I got my sister's here, so I have to, so she can call mommy and daddy and say, Rick's doing fine. Y you know, uh, <laughs> I hate my family. But uh, it's nice. I love my sister because she's always drunk. All right, so anyway. <laughs> you, you ever, uh, so I went to Starbucks, because I found out if you piss on a trendy bald guy's head and, you, and it hits, and you bank it off the dead Paris Hilton non-thinking part of his brain, and it hits his Blackberry, he turns into the scone-eating squirrel he is, like. Stop it, I'm trying to be serene. Look at the earth tones, I like at a mame. You, you know? <laughs> but you ever go into Starbucks and, and you hear the, the, the <laughs> order, like this woman goes right up she, and she goes, Give me a double decaf soy mocha caramel chocolate boysenberry loser idiot soy milk extra frothy extra frothy soy milk. I have to place my order loudly because this is all I have to make myself feel important in front of you people. Espresso and chino. And then, and then she, 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 she goes, single shot. Went like that. And, and I looked over and her friend goes, yeah, make mine a double. Like they're f***ing cowboys, you know? So I said, oh, it's Sheriff Deputy Fluffy Pillow, idiot consumer, Harry Potter reader, Lord of the Rings, renter, King Kong line, movie waiter on her. I wish I had her head hanging right here with blood dripping off her neck so you could laugh and I wouldn't have to come up with a f***ing punchline! I hate him! <laughs> Did you know that if you punch a Starbucks customer hard enough in the stomach, you can actually feel the Frappuccino gel around your fist as he drops to his knees and his spring dress rises above his little pon yoga ponytail? Or he can hang his feet a little higher than, than his head and wrap cellophane around his face and pour the frappuccino over his mouth to induce a drowning in his own consumer <laughs> uh, it's, an, a, it's an advanced interrogation technique, but we should be able to do it anywhere. So um, that's a fast joke, right, Hanson? Uh, get together. You, you guys should meet on MySpace and just send each other pictures like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I only want to make friends. <laughs> what is that MySpace shit? I can't focus anymore. Well, yeah. yeah, I'm into s &M, but don't email me unless you're here, Tom. Um, everything bugs me. People pose to order eggs out here. Like, yeah, I'll have the omelet with cheese, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what kind of cheese is in the omelet, yeah. Hey, Rick, people are people, Rick. You ever talk to a <laughs> moron who morphs into a moose while you're talking to him? Yeah, people are people, yeah. Hey, I'm talking about your mayor, he's a scumbag. Dude, what about spirituality? Are you an AA? I thought so. Pick up my eye. What? <laughs> <laughs> you're hot, and I gotta focus. Focus. When I grew up, women were not like this. You guys tweezle and twizzle and hire Spanish gardeners like, <laughs> want me to get around the driveway? <laughs> you know? Except they never, they always go like, I shaved it. One girl said, isn't it cute? I shaved it. Isn't it cute? Isn't it adorable? Like it's my nephew. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> and she walked away, but you forget. Do something at the back, too. It looks like two angry monkeys breaking a sweat, fighting over a book. <laughs> Dick Cheney's face. Uh. Dick Cheney's face. You better get that joke. It's about, it's about the World Trade Organization. 
the Pakistani warlords. That's what the back of the vagina looks like. A suicide bomber in the face of conflict. Personal conflict. I don't know if I should do that. I don't know. I'm buying a nail bomb tuxedo and exploding yarmulke. This is uh, a joke. So, uh, this broke up. I don't understand. I mean, who's in a relationship? Just help me. You're looking like you want to be entertained with that dog looking for a bone look on your face. Oh, 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 oh. You guys, that's nice. You, you don't have that, I gotta try to figure out how to f your look on your face, you know? Like, like Condoleezza Rice, you know? Arr, the ends justify the means! That's political. <laughs> it's hard being an ex drug addict thinking political, because while you're thinking about Dick Cheney, all you're really thinking is. <laughs> you know, uh, I miss, all right. I still miss cocaine every second. Uh, you ever free base a homeless woman? Y you will. Nobody likes you. Nothing like a girl with mud on her tits. Take my word for it. Might as well tell. One time, I'm not talking about any homeless woman. <laughs> I don't know if I should do. Uh, I'm not used to having money. Now I got money from the TV show. Oh yeah, I got a TV show, so I Paris Hilton. It's true. Well, it wasn't her. It was an, an earthworm. But I looked, But it was the same feeling because you're both the same pile of subterranean human that shouldn't be allowed to look or think in public. Yeah, no, oh, 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 yeah, right. Oh, she's brilliant! An aspirant mind, of course, a woman of complexity. Uh, that's hot, that's hot. I don't need this mic. This mic is just another one of my friends in my way saying I can do it better than you, Rick. So uh, I'm, I'm deep. Don't look at me like I shouldn't be this deep. You're like, can't you just relax and enjoy my hair? <laughs> touch it, touch the hair. It's the land of serenity. <laughs> women, men, mother. <laughs> when I grew up, women didn't look like, and women are adorable now. Everybody's <laughs> adorable. They're like, hi, Rick, hi, Rick, hi, ya, hi, ya, Lucy Lou, hi, ya, hi, ya, karate, pilates, aromatherapy, hi, ya, lavender body yoga mat. But, uh, <laughs> That's how I write that. <laughs> but, uh, when I grew up, girls weren't like adorable, like, hi, Rick, I'm adorable. I grew up in like the Pakistani, Italian, Jewish, Irish, Dominican, Hungarian, Lithuanian, Polish, Puerto Rican, black area in the Hasidic section of the Bronx where it hit <laughs> Philadelphia and crossed over into New Jersey. And everybody fought and f***ed in one night and all the women came out like, what do you mean you're not hiring? There's a sign on the window, I really need the job. My husband can't use his arms. You know? Those are the women I grew up with. I didn't grow up with, hi, I'm adorable, hi, yeah, hi, Rick. And women weren't like, hi, Rick. They were like, all right, Rick, I'll go into the woods with you again. But if it fucks me, I got to leave my fishing waders on because I got to be back at the septic tank in an hour. They can't run that company without a foreman. What the frick are you geezing at? This ain't a hickey, it's a chemical warfare lesion. I'm not a slut, I'm a patriot. Now walk me into the woods slowly and read a little Harry Potter to me. I get so bored during sodomy. Hear the crickets? Nice in here. Get the leaves off my wonder bra, I'll leave the hornet's nest, I like the pain. And when you eat me, use the wolf pack survival method. Ears erect, eyes glaring, and teeth bare. <laughs> I'm on that vagina, look like a mangled, burnt down bed, bath, and beyond. Bad feng shui. Strap it in. Thunder Road, that highway's jammed with broken heroes. <laughs> it's a rusty cage, boy, but I'm gonna get out. <laughs> Thinking about jump. I'm still in my car. I don't know how to be in the now. If you're driving for hours, you're never out of your car. I wanna run you over right now, and, you know, from behind. I'd love to fist you, but uh, I don't mean I'm gonna wear heavy metal rings. I mean nice, you know, um, affection, yeah, yeah. all right. So here's another joke. <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> AIDS, but I'll beat it. I don't like you talking to each other and I'm trying to have a conversation with people. I'm learning how to talk in Los Angeles. And well. So, uh, so you guys, uh, you shaving? You, uh, <laughs> you guys have a nice, Hey, let me ask you this. So you're in a relationship. So did you, uh, did you tell him that thing that you're doing when you get close? You're, you're like, 
Tell me everything. In fact, you can tell me everything. In fact, you must tell me all things, everything's at all time on a continuum. Continuously tell me everything on the conveyor belt of continuum, and I will always be here if you tell me everything. But I can only solely always be here eternally if you continuously, constantly tell me everything. Continuously on a continuum, I will, I will everlastingly always only be here if you continually tell me everything. You have to tell me everything you almost did, everything you've done, everything you've thought, everything you've almost thought, things you haven't thought, things you're about, about, about to, to not think. But you have to tell me everything. I will continuously always be if you continuously tell me everything. I will always be here, right? She told me that, so I'm single now. <laughs> Something about, she didn't understand. If you see a six foot four Italian ballerina with a ponytail, you have to let her into your car. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know it turned out to be an Irish boxer and I dream a genie wig. Uh, to touch me over here, I shaved it. It feels like I'm eight. Come to my next fight. My name's Kelly McKelly, or Teresa. I don't understand. I'm trying to have fun single, so I went to a theme park. You know that one, asinine sex with the deluded wandering in the land of the stupefied? It's a bit of a roller coaster. And too many words for you. <laughs> 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 I just want to chew on my teeth. I hate everything. I, uh, so, so you, uh, you, uh, so you got a nice thing, right? So it's warm, it's sweet. So you, you cheat on her. L let me ask you a question. <laughs> You ever try to cheat on your girlfriend and you feel a little guilty the first 17 times? So when you go down, the other girl, her vagina looks back at you like the devil's face. Like, what? It's too late now. You can't turn back. You've become a weasel. Welcome to hell. You're a piece of shit. Enjoy the There's no punchline. No punchline because if I had a punchline, that would kill the joke and bring me closer to death. And can't handle that. So uh, here's a funny joke that I like. Uh, you should think I'm weird. You see the way I. <laughs> what's oh, oh man. All right. So, uh, 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 you know, uh, I was talking. You ever talked? Look, Tiger Woods came along at a time. Tiger Woods came along at a time. You ever talk to a Republican? They blurt out shit. I was talking to an 80-year-old white bread, 90-year-old old white golfer Republican. And he was trying to explain the existence of Tiger Woods to himself in front of me. Well, Tiger Woods was an accident. He came along at a time when white men ruled the world. We weren't looking. We thought we had all we needed was good credit. <laughs> there was a time when women thought that the only, only white men walked the planet. A veritable utopia. But what with the, the uh, hurricanes working together with George Bush, things should be back to normal now. Get those Negroes out of the needy. Uh, all right, that's a joke that's going to work next week. So you guys, you guys got to be there for the experiment. You ever start your day bad? That's what I did. You, you ever just, just bad, like, like I hop and then a hooker? <laughs> I didn't realize I was a sleaze bag until the third time I heard myself tell my friend, I, I, I got to call you back. I'm letting a hooker out of my car. I didn't know I was even a bad boyfriend until I actually heard the words come out of my girlfriend's mouth. See, if you don't spend the money on hookers, we have more things for the apartment. I was like, oh, I'm the worst. And she wouldn't, uh, you know. But um, here's another thing that works, joke-wise. I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, so horny. It's really weird living in L.A. because in New York, girls are like, hey, come on over now. But here they're like, hi, I'll call you in seven weeks. You can think about the cute part of my shiny tongue as I speak to you. No, no, that's not funny. Nothing I do is funny anymore. It's not my job. We're at a juncture here, all right? You make it funny. You're the funny makers. You see, that's what you do. You make things. You create and concoct. I just shoot. I'm, I'm just locked. I'm looking for a punchline. So um, I didn't know when you gave up drugs, you'd have to do That's what sucks. Like have a nephew? What the f is that? A nephew looks like a giant head rolling down the hallway of entitlement. I read Harry Potter today! That's what this kid said. To me. I said, oh, good. Like, I read it 11 times! Good. Mommy said I read it better than everyone! I said, yeah? I'm gonna teach you how to free base through a dead hooker's skull. <laughs> and you're gonna call it golf. And from now on, that's gonna be golf. And you'll never have to say nine iron again. Do you get that joke? You're so cheerful. You're pensive. I'm screaming in your skull, hearing my own voice come out of your head. 
and you're just saying, I don't know if I like the anchovies. And the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I went to a, I moved into a good neighborhood in New York because I made some money. Well, that actually isn't why. You ever look into a girl's vagina and you're able to see beyond the <laughs> into the whole apartment and you notice know Roadrunner connection and you know she keeps $35 in the top drawer? That's love. Don't miss that moment. <laughs> but but I, moved in, I moved into this. They don't have coffee shops anymore. They have like irate ma male model bartenders, baristas, whatever they call it, faggot. <laughs> And there's a, and I go to get a cup of coffee at some t trendy ass place, and I say, "Can I have a cup of coffee?" And behind the counter was this irate model. He's mad that he's 18. He didn't make it by the time he was 16. He found out he's going to be bald before he's rich. So now he's getting a point of view in life, you know. So I say, "Can I have a cup of c coffee?" Gives me a cup of coffee, puts in milk, and I said, "I'm a cop. I like it black." No, I, I just look like it black. And 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 and, and, and he goes. And, and he goes to me, uh, I, he goes, dude, dude, I just gave you a double shot of coffee. I didn't know they had shots of coffee. I just gave you a double shot. Now I'm going to have to give you a whole nother shot. Now I'm going to have to charge you for a whole nother shot, dude. And I just gave you, and I thought he'd be done, another shot. Now I'm going to have to charge you for a whole nother shot, dude. And again, he goes, dude. And I looked at him, I said, Korea, Iraq. Bizarre catastrophes, mass destruction, Stalin, Hitler, Lenin, Pol Pot, gulags, concentration camps, the killing fields, sucking for heroin. I had to, you will too. Nothing works out for anyone. I'm your new neighbor, hi. I'm dude. And he ran out, but he didn't have any underwear on, and his ass cheeks looked like little, mice, little mouse paws. Look, 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 Chad. Look, Chad. sleep on a couch. What kind of paradox is that? Uh, <laughs> all right. But um, here's the next joke. So uh, I write on my hand because I like to look like a jerk. But uh, I'm single. Made me. I don't like any of my jokes. So this. Uh, hey, let me ask you something. I've been, I drive around, right? And I uh, heard the call-in shows where like Democrats call in and Republicans. You can always spot which one's which. Like, the, de the Democrats are always p p the Republicans are always re re Republicans are like, you gotta finish what you finish and finish it and start it and keep starting and start it again somewhere else and always finish it. You've got, I'm not gay! You know? <laughs> and and, and the, de de the Democrats are like, I think George Bush is a terrible, terrible, terrible serial killing murderer. He should be shot in the head. Oh, thank you for taking my call. He should be dragged through the mud. I like licorice and puppies. Have you ever seen white puppies in a group? They absolutely frolic. <laughs> I don't want to end up some old left-wing guy with a f f faded po ponytail and a faded Hawaiian shirt. You know, he's like, today we'll be toppling the government down by the poetry center. Now, the cast of Stomp will teach us how to march, be heard, yet still entertain. <laughs> It says here that Ralph Nader and Howard Dean will be singing a duet. Oh, Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood again at the karaoke Michael J. Fox all-night vigil. Where, God bless him, I hear he's getting better and he'll be back on Spin City where he belongs. It says here that George Foreman will be doing various impersonations of all the great humanitarians who have ignored Al Sharpton throughout the centuries. Now, it's very important, we'll be having a raffle for evolutionary memorabilia. We'll be selling dirty kittens and diseased milk in order to raise money for our toppling center, inner child workshop, used book porn, entertainment repair, return to Judaical tradition, dance theater, uh, <laughs> toppling center. Now, it's serious. For the toppling, we'll need lookouts, snipers, and focaccia makers, and anyone who's good with weapons of mass destruction and Swedish massage. I've been on too long. I saw the light. People still don't get the joke fully, even though it's my thing. Oh, I wrote that after I wrote this. Yeah. All right. Th thanks a lot. Yeah, fire in the wire. Thanks to him. Come on, I'll take you down.